I've been working all day long on this 1980s collection. I got video games. I got so many board role playing games, D and D. My boy George came at me up at my secret location, the Leia. And this truck is almost full of nothing but boxes and boxes and boxes. And this is going to be a really hard video because there's so much stuff. It would be like a three-hour video just to show certain things. So I'm just going to pop like in and out from all. You're going to break that table, son. <laughs> that, that weight limit is like 40. You're like 450. <laughs> aye, aye. So <laughs> sorry, guys. So like we're just going to pop into boxes here and there and just show you like all the cool stuff that we found, cool stuff that we're getting. I paid six thousand dollars for this load. I might break it down into some more videos, so it'll be like 1980s collection and then video game edition or something like that. So tune in, see. Um, I'm like overwhelmed. I'm so happy about it. So much cool stuff in there. But let's see what happens. First, see, George loves no, collecting just... these. Garbage patch. Come here, look. You want to look, big boy? How much? Snoopy mini diecast. I have that one at home. Okay. Are they worth anything? Uh, I think seven bucks. I think. Okay. Two Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. I think Tracy this one is 10 15 bucks. I've seen it before. Playmates. I never seen that one. That's what I got excited about. The Wizard of Wall. So I don't know why Wizard of Wall stuff is good. You probably do for, probably get 40 bucks for that. This is 1977. That's the year I was born. Mm -hmm. Annie, you used to have a big Annie collection, right? Yeah. Do you remember Annie? Yeah, I do. Over the rainbow. Oh, somewhere. No, that's Wizard over of Wall. the rainbow. Yeah. Yes, more Dick Tracy down there. PT, dude. Oh, this is the first ET. That came out. No, that's not the first one. How do you know? Because I know. I know ET. It's the same year you, you and I freaking. Oh, this is good. This is 10 15 bucks. Are those black ones? Yeah. Shoe strings? Like I'm going to Bible. <laughs> Probably the, the Bible is the most valuable thing in this whole thing is the Bible. I know you're trying to save your ass because you just said nothing good. <laughs> okay, we'll visit you when you burn a house. Video games. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 2008. Joe's Dungeons and Dragons. Where did I just put that heavy ball oh, here? They put that on. There's only also. Check this thing. It's probably down in our box. And the, you know what's cool about it? They're all brand new. They're like they haven't been used. Yeah. You're gonna make your money off the books. Yeah, you have boxes and stuff. Wait till you see. I got like old stuff for brand new. Got three of these. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're kind of kind of pieces. But then check this out. The whole box is all manuals. Atari. Corico Vision. Invaders. Lots of X20 games. So I'm kind of excited about this box right here because these are the actual motherboards for the old arcade machines from 79 to 80. Like each one of these is a game. And I have like four different games in here. So cool stuff. Look what George just pulled out. Bam, as he likes to say. Mm -hmm. Tales to Astonish. Mumba is here. Ten cents. Nick Fury Shield. Twelve center. And then a fifteen cent Amazing Spider Man. Hey, find me Spider Man number one, George. <laughs> yeah, right. Whole boxes full of these magazines. These will be at the store. Just have boxes and boxes of this stuff. Give me books, give me guys. Space Hulk. Now I also got the space. There's literally so much stuff here, like I don't even know how to show it all to you guys, so I'm just showing a small percentages. This video probably ended up being a little messed up, but 
I'm just sharing what we're finding. This is like overwhelming. This game right here, so box like this goes for 300 on eBay. Sometimes 250, sometimes 325. I have three of them. All these Warhammer games are good. I think that Space Hulk is like 100 to 200. I have another one on a truck. He's a brand new sealed. I have this like four or five times, including a couple brand new sealed. Cool TIE Fighter. And I got several binders of these Magic the Gathering cards. And I don't know exactly what to look for in these. But um, I'll do a little research. He's probably end up just going to the store. And like I said, so much stuff. It's kind of crazy. Here's another Magic the Gathering binder. Okay, hopefully somebody text messaged me and tells me they saw the ten thousand dollar card. Oh, let's see, up here is a box. I didn't think we opened that. Oh, it looks open. Oh, yeah. so this whole box. I don't know, something rare about these figures. I think these little knobs make some rare. They don't look good. Here's uh, Imperial Guard Collectors. It's in here. Dragon. Merlin Manson picture disc. Cool. Battletech. Dungeons and Dragons. Battletech. More vintage stuff. That's cool. Charlie Brown. These are cool. I have several boxes of these right here. Check this out. Vans Dungeons and Dragons. There's miniatures. I got another box I opened up. They were all painted. They look pretty off the hook. Like I said, it just keeps on going and going. I'm skipping a lot of boxes because otherwise it'll be all day here. These are the DVI I had these before. There's like one that's rare, the rest is like 20 bucks a piece. G.I. Joe. Sweet pick. Huh. Kinda neat. Judge Dredd. Whole piece of game. Game D set. One. Looks like there's a whole stack of vintage games down here. All D&D. &D. And then these newer ones right here. Brand new packed. So like everything is awesomely taken care of in this collection. Whole bunch of D&D stuff. Skylanders. Stealth Elf. I don't really know if these are worth anything, but thank God for eBay. Star Wars movie scripts. Collector's edition. Kind of cool. It's for all three movies. And then here I saw this. Harpoon. Harpoon. What system is it? I see probably. 1987. It doesn't show what system it's for, but I'm guessing it's probably a uh, PC. I don't see it anywhere. Video watchdogs. Yoda. Did you must? <laughs> And then here's some more Nintendo games. This box, this whole box is run out of the guns. I think which is like a pirate role playing game. It's all filled with that stuff. And then here, I see some video games sticking out. The hell's have eyes on Raiders. It looks like there's blood in the cover. Nasty. I don't know, this box is one of the fun part of video games in there, CDs, more board games, so, so, so. I'm only showing you guys a few of the boxes, oh, my, my phone is about to die too, should have charged last night, this looks to be full of comics, so somewhere in there is a really cool video game thing, so I'm probably going to save my battery and then um, 
So you guys thought we really want to share that one. This actually might be the very first Game Boy. Microvision. Here's another one. I have two of them. One in box, one out of box. And an extra cartridges. Alien Raiders. <coughs> so my phone died. But uh, I recharged it so I can show you some more stuff. Okay, check this out. Robot Panic. For the VIC-20. Brand new sealed. Nightmare Before Christmas. Brand new sealed. Defender for the Commodore 64. That's open, unfortunately. Let's see for a second. F-16 Falcon. Just say a card. Boxes, Game Boy, Warhammer, like 20. Oh yeah, check this box out. This looks like the whole box is my magic stuff. Packs. Packs and packs of cards unopened. Boxes. Cards. Eruption deck. Expert level. So this whole box is all Magic the Gathering stuff. And then over here is another binder full of Magic the Gathering. And there's two more right here. So I got five binders of these. All Magic the Gathering cards. So like I said, because there was so much stuff, I mean, I only shared a small part with you guys. But here's a box that I remember and I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys. Ice Climber with instructions. And the Shooting Gallery. I remember this was a fun game. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's rare. But I get the manual. Well, actually, no manual. Cool. But... There's some more games. Memory. Starfighter. Now check this out. Not the Simpsons. These are video games. Picnic Paranoia. The Texas Instrument. And these are all loose cartridges that are games somehow. I don't know what this is. MP Electronics. But here, these are all. He said these are video games he picked up like in the 80s. And he doesn't remember what's on them or why they are like this. So, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's always cool to see. Here's a Nintendo one 1991 Nintendo. Battery doesn't say what game it is. So, I don't know, maybe we get lucky and there's something like a prototype in there, so. Not sure what I'm going to do with these. Mattel. Atari. Atari. So. I don't know, that stuff is kind of cool. I'm put that aside. See what we can find. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Like I said, there's so much more stuff in here, but I just can't get to all of it. It's just too much. Um, look for more videos. If you like it, subscribe and let us know. Oh, there's one more thing I gotta show for the fluffy gamer. I know this stuff is cool. This is all full of Star Wars down there, brand new stuff, but check this out. Super cool artwork. Could have bought it at Walmart for $2.49. Have your very own cartridge over there. Nintendo. Kind of cool. Doom Cycle. I wanted to show that really quick.
is just some of the stuff. Video games down there. <laughs> it's a brand new box. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys! Don't forget to subscribe!